Some of you might remember Mr. Astrotheology Santos Bonacci, who we covered in a previous video when he was talking about the Suez Canal. Here's a quick reminder. The Suez Canal, if you can see my cursor here, starts in the Red Sea here, goes straight through here through Egypt. It's 125 miles to the Mediterranean Sea. And straight away, we can see how difficult this is going to be. Well, it seems he didn't take that video too well. Uh, Simon Dent, jackass. Let's have a debate. I would love to humiliate your ass and expose your small Exactly bits. what I said. Okay, because you're a dick and I'm going to expose your ass. This is a challenge to you, Simon Dan. So what better way to make amends than taking a look at another one of his videos, this time where he's breaking down the signs of the Zodiac. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin for Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a massive thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. KiwiCo is defining the future of play by making it engaging, enriching and seriously fun. They create super cool hands-on projects and toys designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art and maths. KiwiCo offers nine subscription lines, each catering to different ages and topics. Each box coming with all the supplies needed for that particular project, so no extra runs to the store. Detailed kid-friendly instructions and an educational magazine filled with content so they, they can learn more about that month's theme. My youngest and I recently built this Christmas ice skating rink theme box and he absolutely loved it. There really is everything there that you need and the instructions are super simple. He's only six and he managed to follow them. I think you can all agree the finished product looks great. KiwiCo is such a great gift option for anyone in your life who wants to create special moments and experiences for their family. With KiwiCo, you're not just teaching your kids to buy, you're teaching them to build. They also have amazing holiday projects available as a one purchase in addition to their subscriptions. A KiwiCo subscription delivers discovery, curiosity and excitement long after the holiday decorations are put away. Show your support for this channel by taking advantage of this great offer from KiwiCo. You can get 50% off your first month of any crate. Just head to kiwico.com slash simandan and check it out. Right, back to today's video where Santos has given us a lecture on all of the signs of the Zodiac. Now this video is about six years old, but I'm sure it's all still relevant in Santos's eyes. But before we do that, the other day I noticed a bit of a slip up from Santos's right hand man when they were promoting an upcoming stream. Let's raise the vibrations. Negativity lowers it, so we need to raise vibration as well. Not to say that we're not gonna be talking about what's going on in the planet. We will be about what's going on in the planet, about what's going on in the planet, about what's going on in the planet. Oh dear. Perhaps his right-hand man isn't a flat earther after all. Away we go. And see, these, these are the four cards. So people born in those signs, they are the strongest. More force is in here. Force is in those signs. So the time of your birth dictates your strength. Evidence, please. My sign is Scorpio, by the way. So make of that what you will. This is the kingly axis this is the priestly axis this is we being kings and priests spirit and matter oh bloody hell please don't tell me i'm on the priestly one because aries is krios the judge criticize critique judge the ram firmicus maternus says the greeks called the ram because it judges he judges between 12 hours of light 12 hours of darkness he's the judge of balance and so is she venus over here in the scales of libra Oops. And the scales of balance. At the middle, at the very middle, that's the start, it's the middle of the ecliptic. Balancing, you see? So this is spiritual. So what are you actually saying here? Libra and Aries are allowed to judge people. Fire, air, they're masculine. So this is ecclesiastical. Told me says this is the ecclesiastical religious spiritual axis. Told me? Oh dear, the geocentric astronomer of old. No wonder. And that's why if you, if you think for a minute that Uranus is now in Aries and <clears throat> Pluto is in Capricorn, 
in the other so and there's a square going on we can if we get a chance we can talk about that but the, what's happening is those two destroyers uranus and pluto in these two signs the sheep and the goats the solstice and the equinox the ecclesiastical and the priest is is going to actually transform and destroy what you see out there in terms of spiritual institutions and political institutions forever forever so because Pluto and Uranus are in certain constellations, that means they're going to cause worldwide destruction of spirit. Of course, those planets aren't actually in those constellations, they just appear to be from Earth. Another reason why this is all total rubbish. Once these seven squares are finished, I think we're in the third or the fourth square, and the squares, very, very rare, long, seven squares between planets is, is pretty much a record. Oh no, it's a record. What will we do? It's a grand square now, a Persephone square, I think it's called. Yes. And it's very destructive, and, and Capricorn is, is the political. You'll see a lot of changes here with Pluto. Last time Pluto was in Capricorn, we had two revolutions, the French and the American. Oh, Santos, you can't even get your history right. Pluto is still in Capricorn now. It entered in 2008 and will leave in 2024. The last time it was in Capricorn was between 1762 and 1778. Whilst this does incorporate the American Revolution, the French Revolution wasn't until 1787, nine years after Pluto left Capricorn. And of course, there's been many revolutions throughout history when Pluto wasn't in Capricorn. Need I say more? But these people that are born here have this force. They are cardinal. They like to start things because this is where the start is. Arians love starting things and not finishing them. <laughs> These guys, the mutables, they finish. The mutable signs, they finish things. You see? Like what? Their breakfast? And these guys, like Taurus, this is fixed. They change things for the sake of not changing things. Hang on. Tauruses change things for the sake of not changing things. Um, I feel like we may get a visit from Jonathan Frakes in this episode. So they, you know, they're steady. They're in the middle. They hang on to things. You know, these guys start with a lot of force. They really are good leaders in the community. You know, they're, they're, they're always, you can see the way they walk, these people, they're directional. The cardinal points are directional. Wow, groundbreaking stuff here. People who are these signs walk in directions. Amazing. Very strong and vital, these people. They have more energy. All things being equal, these areas would actually be the strongest, according to Thomas H. Burgoyne. Still no mention of Scorpio? Fire, because fire is vital. Um, and so you've got Cancer here and Libra over here. So. So your question was, how would you explain the difference between the cardinals and the, you know, the fixed people? You see the Taurians, the earth, solid, the, the, the Leos are also fixed. Leo is fire, you know, intense passion, fire, rot, lion, roaring. Hang on, I thought Aries was fire. Make your mind up, Santos. You know, these people are, you know, all summer. It's all about summer. You know, they're very summery and golden. I find, I love their energy, it's very light, it's golden. Their energy is light and golden, hey? Mussolini was a Leo, just saying. When these guys glow, they're very light. You know, it's, it's like it's being next to you know, light, and people emanating a golden light. These, these guys are silver, really silvery. <laughs> I don't know whether you guys can see what I'm actually saying, I'm sure you can in your own special way, but I get silver from these people, it's beautiful, motherliness, you know. Um, but, but see, this fire is different to this fire. This is cardinal fire. Ah, cardinal fire. Got it, I think. Still no Scorpio though. And so, cardinal would be, you know, like a fire hose. You get a fire hose and it's got a very um, narrow exit point here so that water is pressured and then it comes out really strong at the start. This would be cardinal. That's a very suspect drawing there, Santos. And then fixed would be when the water just goes around like this and it's, the water's still composed, that curve, but it's, it's, 
it's much more in abundance. So the fire here is much more in abundance. It's stronger. It's summer. It's midday, or midday's here, but two to four is, is sort of you know pretty much the hottest part of the day. So this is fixed, and then mutable, mutate. Oh my days! Change these people. Uh, that would be mutable, you know. So the water's breaking up because this is this is breaking up of the springtime. Sorry, are we still talking about fire here or water? And so you can see it in their natures. These people are mutable, more adaptable, more flexible, uh, more changing. F Gem Geminians can be flippant, you know, with their minds. You know, changing their mind because it's mind. It's an air sign. Whereas Pisces will change their emotions. You know? Two fish. Mutable water. Water is emotions. Right, I'm getting very confused here, but still no Scorpio. Astrology is based on the ecliptic. And when you study the wave and you look at the wave, all secrets will be revealed. This is where astrology comes from. It comes from this. It comes from these energies and light and how it, you know, how it works. Of course, Aryans have got, you know, so much vitality. I mean, the sun in the morning is... Whew. What? I'm sorry, but this is total nonsense. People are not represented by the 12 signs of the zodiac. You know, six to eight in the morning. This represents six to eight every morning. Aryan energy is there every morning, regardless of what sign the sun's in. All right, any more? What? That's it? I wanted to know about Scorpio. Boo! Perhaps Santos had the foresight that he knew I'd be watching this video six years later and didn't include Scorpio deliberately because he knew it would annoy me. Anyway, the reason that you can't rely on the Zodiac, apart from the fact that it's total nonsense anyway, I explained in an old video of mine. Take a look at this. So the way that astrology works is your star sign is yours because the sun was in that constellation on the day of your birth. So I was born on November the 19th, which makes me a Scorpio. Or does it? You see, the Earth is subject to a phenomenon called precession, which basically means that over tens of thousands of years, the Earth wobbles slightly on its axis. Now, what that means is that the stars do appear to change positions very slightly over time. And in the 2000 years since the constellations were devised, yep, you've guessed it, they have moved slightly and now appear in different positions than they used to. So what does that mean for your star sign? Well, using this piece of software, which allows me to go back in time, we can see that on the day of my birth, the sun was in Libra. What this means is that the sun was actually in the constellation next door to the one you think is your star sign. And quite tragically for you, if you follow astrology, then you've been reading the wrong star sign your entire life. And there we go. What a fantastic video that was. Really, really enjoyed that. And what have we learned today, people? It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No, not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Precisely. Thank you so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated, but we're all done and dusted for today's Tim Fall Tuesday. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider subscribing and hitting the like button as well. As I said, it'd be very much appreciated. Just enough time to once again thank KiwiCo for sponsoring today. Uh, remember, for 50% off any crate of your first month, then visit kiwico.com slash simandan and have yourselves a look. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great week. And I'll see you on Friday for... Oh, it's Santos again. See you then.